is a saying that if you tell a lie often enough, you will eventually believe it's true. Could the same be said for the spirit of violence? People always say, why animal cruelty? Why should we care about this? If we're living well, taking care of each other, it also means we're taking care of our environment. It means we're taking care of animals. No one animal on this planet is more important than another. Could it be that if we are uncaring about the animals that make us happy, uncaring and cruel to the animals that we feed on, we would find that eventually the truth of violence would apply to all the animals, including humans. You stop violence with other species, you will find the universe grovels at your feet. Yes, there is a relationship that has been noted between violence towards animals and violence toward human beings. We denigrate individuals based on stereotypes. The rich abuse the poor. We deny the most basic of human needs to others in our societies because of political differences. Well, obviously, one thing is that, that uh, even economically and politically and uh, personally, people in the rich countries are much better off if their next door neighbors or their distant neighbors have a better life. We have demonstrated extraordinary acts of cruelty and violence. The extermination of millions in the Holocaust. Genocide on all continents because of such simple differences as skin color, or a different name, or a different interpretation of God. And so, we really only have one choice. We either learn to live in peace and nonviolence, or surely we will perish as a species. How does this perceived truth of violence move from animal to human? If we changed life for the better, for people around, for the animals around, for the environment. So everything that we think and that we do has an effect on everything on the planet. So whatever we put out there will come right back to us. So basically, I am you.